Hello, how are you? I'm Emma and I'm an artist and today I'm going to help you with your project which is all about curiosity and today we're going to be curious about textures and we're going to be using textures to make some artwork. So what is a texture? Do we know what textures are? It's how things feel. So you might have things that feel bumpy or smooth or hairy or flat or tickly. Can you think of any more? I'll let you decide as we go on. So we're going to be using those textures and we're going to be making a print. And if you're an artist, there's a fancy word for that. It's called making a collagraph. Collagraph. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a printing plate and then we're going to take a print from it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to point my camera down now so you can see how we make a collagraph printing plate. Let's go. Right, so here we are. Today, I've got lots of different textures and my printing plate is, can you guess what it is? It's a pizza base out of a pizza. And what I've done is I've used some circle shapes, some cups um, that I've had different sizes and I put them on lots of different things and cut them out. So these are my different textures. Can you see? I've got some bumpy corrugated cardboard. I've got some stuff here which is called sandpaper. It's what grown-ups use for DIY. This is some smooth kind of plastic. It comes from an orange carton, an orange juice carton. I've got some hairy fabric. I've got some really crinkly crushed up aluminium foil. This is just some fancy paper that I've got, which has got a kind of flowery pattern on. And this is a piece of foam. And I've put them all onto my printing plate with a piece of double sided sticky tape. This is where you need your grown ups to help you. So peel off the cover, make it sticky. And then we're making a pattern. I've used circles and semicircles, but you could experiment cut them up into quarters, couldn't you? Right, so now we need to put some ink onto our printing plate. And we're going to use printing ink, which is lovely, but super sticky. Here's my printing ink. I'm gonna squeeze it out. It's a, like a big tube of toothpaste. And I've got blue, but it comes in all different colors. There we are. Oh, squeeze a blob out, put the lid on. You don't want it drying out. Right, now I've got one of these. We call it a roller or a brayer. I'm going to roll out the ink onto my roller. It's quite sticky. Can you hear that? Now, once the ink is covered on my roller, I can roll that ink onto my printing plate. You might get a little bit sticky. Oh, well, it doesn't cover it all, does it? I was making some interesting patterns already. Don't worry if it goes on the printing plate as well. That's part of the pattern. There we are. Oh, I think it's going to take lots for this fabric. There's the crinkly aluminium foil. You could cut out any shapes you like. I just thought we'd keep it simple today and do circles and semicircles. How am I doing? I'm not doing too bad. I'm not too sticky. Right, put your roller in there. Now we want to get a piece of paper to put on top to make our print. And I've used a squirty bottle with some water to make my paper a bit damp. When it's damp, it's a bit floppy and you get more ink stuck to your, your print, which is good. So here's my big bit of paper. I'm going to lay it carefully on top, making sure I cover all of my printing plate. There we go. I've got a clean roller now. This one doesn't have any ink. And I'm going to use that for making sure my paper sticks down onto my printing plate. When you've given it a good roll, then we can have the big reveal. Three, 
two, one, peel. Oh, it's looking quite nice. I quite like that. Oh yeah, cool. And the good thing about a printing plate is that you can use it again and again. Oh, look at all the different textures and patterns I've got. Was that what you were expecting? You can try different things. And if you don't have lots of different pieces of texture, don't worry, you could just use cardboard and keep it one texture and make a printing plate like that. Okay, so that's how you can make a collar graph. I'm going to show you something else to do with textures. I'm going to reach over. I like to call this a texture hunt. We're going to use some really bright oil pastels and we're going to look around our surroundings and see if we can find anything with interesting textures. I found these in the kitchen. I found a basket with a nice pattern on it as well. And what you need to do is lay your paper on top of one of these textures and then use your oil pastel side on, not pointy end, but flat end on and uh, take a rub in. Oh, that is satisfying. Look at that. Right, so you can then leave it like that if you wanted to, or you can add some more color. Guess what? I like to add even more color. So I've got some really nice bright inks here and I'm going to put them on top. Oh, it makes a nice contrast, red and green. Very nice, complementary colors. So you can look around, maybe you can find things on your clothing, like buckles and shoe kind of um, laces to rub, or maybe somebody's got a handbag with something interesting on it, you can take a rubbing from, or maybe you could look around your classroom, maybe there's a radiator that you could make a rubbing from. And this sort of rubbing, it's got a special name if you're an artist, artists like special names. This is called frottage, frottage. So there we are, we've learned two names today, Collagraph for making a textured printing plate and Frottage for making a rubbing. There we are. I quite like it with the colours on the background. It makes all the textures really stand out, doesn't it? So why don't you go and have some fun with some textures today? You can make a printing plate or you can go on a texture hunt. You might end up a little bit mucky and a bit painty and a bit inky, but it is lots of fun. So I'll see you again. Bye.